Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Everyone loves a good mystery. More than that, everyone loves to obsess over a mystery that hasn't been solved. What can be more fun than nosediving into a hurried conclusion, looping around a bunch of far-fetched theories before eventually saying, aliens? There are some mysteries that make a perfect cut to that list. Number 7. Purple Slime In August 2015, fishermen fishing off the coast of northern Norway found a mysterious purple slime had emerged off the coast of northern Norway coating millions of cubic meters of a picturesque fjord with a strange mucoid, margarine-like substance. Experts who investigated the phenomenon likened the texture of the slime to that of margarine and initially believed it to be the remains of dead jellyfish. The slime covered the fish that the fishermen were catching and even messed with their sonar equipment. We have not been able to find out what this really is, other than that we are talking about large amounts of jellyfish," Roger Larson, associate professor of the University in Tromso, told state news broadcaster NRK. Tone Falkenhog and Jan Helg Fossa, oceanographers at Norway's Institute of Marine Research IMR, argued that the slime might have been caused by a gigantic bloom of cigar comb jellies, which had then partially disintegrated. It's probably dead or partially dead jellyfish, and we think it is the kind of jellyfish we think is called Cetenophora baro. However, now almost four years later, no real confirmation has been given that the slime did indeed come from a type of jellyfish. Therefore, the reason for its existence remains a mystery. Number 6. Swedish Spheres A remarkable and unexplained phenomenon took place in a small village in Sweden over 200 years ago. In May 1808, villagers in Biskops, Berga, Sweden were out in the hot sun working on farms or simply going about their day when it suddenly became rather dark. Looking up, they saw that the sun had grown dim and that they could look directly into it. At the same time that darkness engulfed the small village, a large number of spherical objects appeared from the western horizon. These unidentified objects appeared small and they measured just several inches in diameter. They appeared dark brown in color, and they seemed to be headed toward the sun. Then, as these strange figures got closer to the sun, they changed their colors from dark brown to black. When these small figures approached the sun, they reduced their speed only to increase their pace again after passing in front of it. The strange phenomenon didn't stop there. For a significant period of time, new spheres appeared from the west and subsequently disappeared when they reached the east. At present, the village no longer exists, but at the time of the unusual phenomenon, it was the home of around 300 inhabitants. K.G. Wettermark, secretary of the Swedish Academy of Sciences, saw one of the spheres hit the ground, and he remarked that it left behind a thin film resembling a cobweb, which soon completely disappeared. A reason or explanation for this incident has yet to be found. Number 5. Denmark's Ancient Labyrinth in early 2017, archaeologists discovered a massive Stone Age labyrinth in Stevens in Denmark. The five rows of fences were built in the Neolithic period, an era that ended around 2000 BC. Each pole stood around six and a half feet high. With each ring of fence inside another, the strange construction captured the curiosity of scientists. It is unclear to experts, even though it seems to have been done deliberately. Archaeologist Pernille Road Sloth, who led the excavation, told Science Nordic that the enclosures seemed more like a maze. She said, The openings don't seem to sit next to each of the post rows, and we're slightly amazed by that, she said. But maybe it functioned as sort of a labyrinth. At least that's how we imagine it. That way, you weren't able to look inside the common space, which may have been an advantage. Theories include that it may have served as a sun temple, and rituals would have taken place there. However, more excavating is needed to understand the real purpose of the structure. Number 4. Scandinavian Star Fire On April 7, 1990, a devastating fire broke out on a passenger ferry called the Scandinavian Star, which traveled the waters between Oslo and Denmark. The fire spread quickly throughout the ferry, and 159 people lost their lives. Several reasons for the large loss of life included the thick smoke preventing passengers from finding the exits and crew members who could not communicate with the passengers in their native languages. It was initially thought that one arsonist started the fire, 
but later investigations in 2009 proved that more than one person would have had to be involved in doing so. In 2016, retired Danish ship inspector Fleming Thu Jensen blamed two unnamed crew members for the fire, saying that they had said it deliberately and that he would testify in court to that effect. Jensen said that crew members were responsible for the fires that broke out when the ship sailed from Oslo to Frederikshavn in Denmark on April 7, 1990. The flames claimed the lives of 159 people. If the Norwegian police had spoken to us and investigated the case more thoroughly, the case would have been solved in 1990, Jensen told Norway's TV2. However, in June 2017, it has been widely reported that after a new inquest into the disaster, no evidence of sabotage or even arson for financial reasons could be established. In the meantime, the culprits remain free. Relatives of some of the 159 people who died have long campaigned for the case to be reopened arguing that there is evidence to suggest that the fire was a deliberate arson carried out by the ship's crew. Number 3. Ka'ali Crater Mystery Located on Estonia's largest island, Saaremaa, visitors will find the site of a large meteorite that hit the Earth 7,500 to 7,600 years ago. A massive meteorite entered the Earth's atmosphere and broke into pieces. Some of those rocks smacked into Ka'ali onto the Estonian side of Saaremaa. The collision left nine craters in the area, which is now called the Ka'ali Meteorite Crater Field. At the time when the meteorites hit Saaremaa Island, it was populated, so it is very likely that the falling meteorites killed some of the inhabitants and certainly damaged the environment. The biggest crater on the island has the remains of a stone wall surrounding it that dates back to the Bronze Age. This mysterious structure is believed to have been put up by an ancient cult that settled in the area and who may have used the crater as a watering place, considering that it is filled with water to this day. Even more mysterious than these lasting imprints, Estonian archaeologists have unearthed the stone wall that surrounded the Kaala crater, as well as animal remains that point to the site being used for sacrifices. Some of the remains date back to the 1600s, which is long after sacrifices were the norm in Estonian society. Scientists were unable to turn theory into fact, however, seeing that they cannot search the waters of the Ka'ali Lake for possible further findings, as oak tree deposits prevent them from entering the water deeper than 4 meters. Number 2. Gigantic Balls of Jelly In August 2017, giant jelly-like blobs have been sighted off the western coast of Norway, but the identities of these mysterious objects have scientists stumped. Divers have seen the huge balls of jelly in several sites. They are nearly transparent and about a meter in diameter. Fortunately, a few divers have had cameras and managed to photograph the mystery objects. Scientists initially assumed these were extremely rare, but just how rare is still an unanswered question. Since the beginning of the 2000s, researchers at the Norwegian Institute of Marine Research have counted a total of 17 observations. Gigantic balls of jelly are about 1 meter 3.3 feet big gel balls floating off the coast of western Norway. Gigantic octopus eggs? Or maybe they are alien eggs soon to be hatched. Norwegian marine scientists do not have an answer. Number 1. Tree Swastika in 1992, an intern for a landscaping company in Germany was taking photos from a plane when he noticed something weird way down below. On the north side of Zernikau, a patch of large trees was sticking out against the rest of the forest. The reason? They formed a giant swastika. No one knows who bears responsibility for the forest swastika in Brandenburg. A number of rumors surfaced shortly after Dedarow discovered the symbol. One possible explanation places the blame on nearby villagers. One of their own was caught listening to a BBC radio broadcast in secret and was ultimately sent to the Sachsenhausen concentration camp for this act. The story goes that the villagers then planted the trees in the shape of a swastika to show their loyalty to the Nazi party. One more version claims the planting occurred in honor of Hitler's birthday when a local Nazi leader ordered it done. Alternatively, a newspaper, the Berliner Zeitung, wrote that the Reich Labor Service constructed a road in a nearby village and the trees were planted in gratitude for this road. For just a few weeks every year, the yellow lark leaves would contrast against the surrounding green pine forests, forming the 200-square-foot cross. 
spurred by a wave of public protest after a Reuters aerial photograph of the 200 by 200 foot swastika was published in local newspapers, state forestry officials moved in with chainsaws early Monday to obliterate the Nazi symbol. But a dispute over land ownership on part of the property meant that only about half of the swastika could be cut down. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button, do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.